Yo, what up? It's your boy, that's the Pipkins, aka Jimmy Nofro, aka Jimmy the Legend, aka the Legend of Hip Hop. Welcome to the Site to Go YouTube channel. Today's topic that we will go over and discuss is titled Overthinking Your Thoughts, How to Let Go. This topic is very important if you are an overthinker and you really want to let go of overthinking. This topic was brought to you by the author Sammy Caramella or Sammy Caramela, aka Caramel. Ooh, I like that. Either way, I still hope I got your last name right because you know it's me and, and Mela. I, I still hope I got it right. Still, thank you for writing your article and I really appreciate it. So, without further ado, let's get started. Let's go. So, here we have the article Overthinking Your Thoughts How to Let Go. It was posted on October 25th. So you're hiking with your friend. It's a beautiful crisp autumn day. The leaves are bright orange, yellow, and red. You're standing on the ledge of a mountain that overlooks miles and miles in color and life. You smile, breathing in the cool air, your eyes locked on the vast land ahead of you. Your friend steps out on a large rock perched at the edge to snap a photo of the scenery. Suddenly you think, I could push her off the cliff right now. Whoa, what? It's a morbid thought, and you know you don't actually mean it. I mean, you don't actually want to push your friend to her death, of course, but the vivid image keeps replaying in your mind, and you can't help but wonder what's wrong with you. Why would you think that way in the first place? The mind is a powerful, strange, confusing place. We experience hundreds of fleeting thoughts per hour, and while some people can simply brush off these innocent notions, others tend to dwell on them as a reflection of their own character which is entirely daunting and counterproductive. Here are some important steps to overcoming these intrusive thoughts. Number one, accept it. Do not fight it. Do not beat yourself up over it. Understand that you are not your thoughts. People struggle in this particular category. They worry that every thought they think must be real. According to Nancy Collier, a psychotherapist and writer for Psychology Today, we make a thought into a solid object by focusing on it and relating to it as if it is an event happening in the world somewhere. In other words, we give it power when really it is just an empty idea that is not even our own. How freeing it is to know that if we do not attend to a thought, answer it, change it, identify with it, and all the rest, it literally ceases to exist. If we let a thought be nothing, then that's what it will be, nothing said Collier in why our thoughts are not real. Number two, do not try to rationalize it. Allow the thought to stay in your mind, but do not feed it. Feeding it, trying to make sense of it, and allowing it to engulf your entire brain only gives it power. Living with OCD, I understand the nature of obsessive thinking after years of working through it. When I went to therapy in the fifth grade, my psychologist, Dr. Risa Gallup, advised me to avoid justifying my thought process by fighting myself, I only dug a deeper hole. Repeat after me, she advised. It's just my OCD again. My brain is hiccuping again. Sometimes we think thoughts that have absolutely no correlation to us personally. We cannot filter or control them the way we can with our words and actions. It is important to recognize and distinguish which ideas are real and which are empty in order to let them go. Fighting will only leave you tired and prone to more irrational thoughts. Number three, distract yourself. By focusing your attention on other priorities, you are allowing yourself room to move on despite the unsettled feeling you're experiencing from the thought. I am in a better emotional state when I am at school or a job, which is why I tend to overwork myself at times. If I am ever stuck in a loop, I know not to stay in bed and dwell. I know to get up and do productive tasks in order to keep my mind busy. Erin Maglita, an OCD sufferer, shares a similar outlook. When you keep your mind busy on work or school or even listening to someone else's problems instead of focusing on your own, it can really help with the missing your obsessive thinking. If I'm focused on something besides what's bothering me, it gets pushed to the back of my mind and the thought gets farther and farther away. Sitting around thinking all day will only make the cycle stronger and attract even more negativity. Don't let yourself fall victim of the thoughts. Don't let them cancel your plans or hinder your goals. And finally, laugh at it. You know what they say, laughing is the best medicine. Try it, make a joke of the thought, tell yourself how silly it really is. Odds are someone else has mooed over the exact same idea or has simply waved it off as senseless. You know who you are and the fact that you even second guess a thought means it is unlike you, it is not you. Everyone experiences these types of thoughts. 
you are not alone. You are not your thoughts. About the author, Sammy Caramella. Or Caramela. I'm not sure. But yeah. Hi, I'm Sammy. A 20-year-old girl living in Jersey. I am a writer and a reader. Battling OCD and anxiety. I love the life I live and wouldn't change a thing. Feel free to reach out to me. I love to chat. Be sure to check out more of her blogs on her profile page. The link will be in the description box below. Thank you for reading. Personally, coming from my experience of overthinking, like I have had just moments of overthinking things. I've had too much thought put into one thing. They say like what you think about, it comes true. But too much overthinking, you know, just it's like putting the stress on some kind of chain or something. Hopefully I made sense to y'all when I said all that. But if I could truly tell you anything, it is you have to. All the things that's presented in this topic, you gotta be able to let it go. Just laugh at it, you know, distract yourself. Still, this topic is great for anybody that has this sort of problem. And now, it is time for my three questions. Number one, are you an overthinker? Number two, I personally want to know how do you feel about overthinking? Like, I mean, personally, I want to know, does it help you? Does it not help you? Like, I want to know. And three, if you are an overthinker and you want to get rid of that for good, and you feel like this or anything that you do could help you out, tell me, what are the things that you could do to get rid of overthinking? Leave all of your answers in the comments section below and I will definitely get right to them. Thank you all for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. If you guys like what you saw, then please comment, like, subscribe, do what you do best. Also, our information's in the description box below. We just came out with a magazine. It's freaking awesome. Go get it, download it, digital, pick it up, do it, read it. You're gonna love it because it's site to go. Also, if you like what I did today, then you can go subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is right here on the screen, which the link is also in the description box below. So yeah, you can just go subscribe and you'll love my channel. We have fun. But yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. And peace. Ah!